Okay, so we have. So these are the things that I want to review tonight. So to start with, I want to do finger spelling. So hands up. If you guys haven't had me before, I always practice with two hands. That way you get practice going with both hands. Um, if you are right-handed, I'm right-handed, so you guys sign exactly the same thing as me. If you're left-handed, then sign with your left hand. Um, that way you guys are comfortable in what you're doing, and you have that practice with that. But whichever one that you decide to, say you're left-handed and you decide to um, just sign with your right hand, stick with your right hand the whole time. If you're I, vice versa, anything like that. So just make sure that you stick with whatever hand that you pick. So, okay? So I want to sign both hands up. But whenever you do like finger spell something, you would just sign with your dominant hand. Okay? So ready? So we have A. And remember, it's not going to be like tight and real tight. You just want to have it gently resting there. So A, B, C, D, and D like you're pointing to the dog. That's the new thing that I decided. Like if you're pointing to the dog, you have just your finger like that. So you have a D. D, like you're pointing to the dog, D, and then E, there's two ways, you can do it this way, or you can do it this way, and then F, and I thought of it more like a fan, that's more like the design you can have in your mind, so F, and G, H, I, J, K, if you're bunny ears, L, M, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, 